The Natsuno Mirathon continues! Wow, look at those numbers. 57 oh. destruction, 51 remembrance, 40 analysis. They're actually going up. <laughs> that does tend to happen the further we get into a game, David. That's how math works. Are you making fun of me? Yes, I am. Okay, well, let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the opinionator. And I'm we squared. Uh-huh. Don't know how far we'll be able to get, but once we finally get stuck in Natsuno Miura, then we'll move on to Amiguchi, huh? which might even happen in this episode. Where'd he go? Oh, he's hiding in the laundry basket, I'm sure. Man, I really wanted to wait before getting to Amiguchi. It's just that, you know, we can't do any more battles, so... Uh, yeah. Whoa! Things are different now. Huh. Well, things are different might be because he's been 426'd. Yeah. We do know that Erika Aiba, the android now ha housing 426... Did something to him! So, you know... Wow, you actually stayed hidden this time. Or maybe not just that. Hey, so... So, uh, let me consider stuff. I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet. And we are those creations. It's a pretty rare plot point, but I've seen it a couple of times. Mm-hmm. A couple of times, here and there. A few. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. Xenogears... Oh, I'll stop. Never mind. There's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. Makes sense. If I can find the Sentinel... I know, she still hasn't found it. Then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. Turns out, he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. And I'm so disappointed. But that's not actually accurate either. Because the brain has something to do with the original Keitaro Miura. Yes. The agents continue to lurk around the school. They gotta be searching for something. It's so weird. I'm the only one that sees them. And I think <laughs> I know. I'm almost sure of it. Well, they're SIU agents, and we know that Yuki is... No, I know, they I know. still think you BJ is an alien. Let's go! Aliens. You mentioned something once. That we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. Okay. I understand. <laughs> and now he's pouting. BJ, are you seriously pouting? That's kind of adorable. <laughs> BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI. Only integrated into a sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miura-kun called you a... a piece of sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. The Sentinel you're searching for. There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. Which we've been searching for from the very first Natsuno scene. Yeah. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm going to be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Got it. Natsuno. Aww. Get in the bag, BJ. Well, now that that's settled. Zoop! Man. This is certainly no time to be training. And we even know that BJ doesn't make it. Well, assuming... I mean, those remains could have been from any recon unit. No, no, Natsuno said that in a battle. Oh, you're right. I've forgotten that. Let's go find it, little guy. I, uh, uh, listen.
listen, I'd really appreciate it if... Yeah, yeah, whatever. No one expects you to come to practice anymore anyway. <laughs> if I didn't tell Senpai? <laughs> Don't mind me? Huh? Oh, hey! Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is, there's something I really gotta do, so... Your first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Ugh. Huh? But we were just there. It didn't look any messier than it normally does. Maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. Oh ho! I wonder... Were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. And that's as far as that goes. You hiding in that trash can, Ryoko? <laughs> We're here. Uh huh. Well, Billy? Sector one. Sector one. We've searched there already, haven't we? Oh, have we? Where could number 17 be? Let's go to sector one. Okay. You want to look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? 2105. Hmm? The 22nd century? Good call, Billy. Ah. Code approved. I didn't think I'd already searched there. Designating sector. Pods, eh? This is the only room with the lights on. So we're... Well, I... Shikishima Lab. I was thinking this might have been the UFO. Hey, BJ. You said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? You don't want to know. <laughs> Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is still inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last ditch effort after the city was destroyed. Uh, the city's already destroyed. So this reminds me, and this is actually a really important point. After the city was destroyed, are you saying that they decided to end the entire world after the destruction of one city? So, uh, do you remember what the event that we need to complete from Amiguchi is to move on to the next battle? Around the world in 30 kilometers. Yeah, so this, this city must only, be the only city. There's only one city, no matter where you go in this. Well, That's all there is, because it's not like the whole world is programmed in Yeah, here. Natsuno said there was only, what, five, six million people? There's over four million people that live in Oklahoma. Right. Which I bring up because that's where we live. <laughs> and we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> so if Sentinel number 17 is somewhere on the surface, you're bowed. You can't get it. What have you been looking at this whole time? Huh, that's a good point, I guess. I'm searching for... memories. Oh, uh, yeah? That sounds important. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. That is true. 72% of them have been deleted. Maybe that's what 426 did. That and... Yeah. Nothing else. They've been tampered with twice. Possibly more. By who? Unknown. Though in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinels' location was deleted then. In this facility, is this era's largest quantum computer. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters out. Yeah? Maybe he found something. 
What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. Oh! <sighs> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. 426. Must be. We must hide. Quickly. Wait for me! But by 426, does that mean, or it's Goto, okay? What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is problematic. We've noticed. <laughs> it attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. Whoa. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. That program, the one that severs the code, that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right, Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. It's not that they're clones. It's that some of these people, like the reason they become adults, Oh, I, we just don't entirely know exactly what they mean by loop. Like, yeah, I, I yeah, get yeah. what they're saying, but the implications of it, we just have to game it out, and there's really no point in doing that at this point. Yeah, I don't think we have enough info. Well, we've babbled about the likely implications all throughout this playthrough so far, so... Yeah. Two loops ago. Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Yeah, Sector Zero's been brought up before, too, though we didn't know what to make of it then. Uh, Sector Zero might be where everything's stored. Maybe. If indeed that's even how it works. Yeah. Where did you get all this information from? <sighs> from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? That's just what everybody's been calling it. Even we said it. Uh-huh. Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? <sighs> yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Oh, well, I don't exactly have the memories that I had after my memories were stored, <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. Aww. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Yeah. How? How? Was there a closet? Well, yeah, there must have been something. <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. Remember at Ayame Pass? Oh, yeah. She just, like, ran off one way, then ran off another <laughs> way. Wasn't that Chihiro-chan? And Goto-senpai was with her. Okay, yeah, I was trying to remember when she had met Chihiro. You saw that too, right, BJ? Oh, no, not you. Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. Nothing bad would have happened if you had. Right. But how would she know that? I saw Goto Senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. Chihiro-chan. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro chan, right? Miura kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there. And there was something different about her. I can't quite put my finger on what possibly could have been different, <laughs> but there was something. <gasps> Goto Senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. Hey, VJ? I've located it. It huh? was in the access log's history. Okay, then. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this. Somehow. Huh. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. I mean, there's not much Natsuno can do about it if you can't do anything. Right? Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.5 of 
1.216 billion data units were found. How much time you got? If I were to trace every unit, I need about 80 days. They probably don't have that long to just be sitting here. Also, not to know will starve to death. <laughs> oh, she'll die of dehydration way before then. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Thank you for correcting me on that vitally important detail. <laughs> I must have left some kind of hint. I mean, I would have done the same to you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Fry keyword hamburger. <laughs> the coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. WG! No, David! As well as two numerical values. Uh. <laughs> do we have anything like that? I don't think we do have anything like that. I know I left some kind of hint. Two letters, huh? Well, we present something to him. BJ. Goodness, never even considered that one. <laughs> he did say BJ immediately. That's true. Back when we first met. Like, that's what I meant, was referring to this. I just assumed BJ was your name, but maybe. BJ, that's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Because your data got tampered with. Alternately, because that's what he was supposed to do and it worked the way it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me think. Oh. Yeah, he did list the number after he said BJ. Fortunately, we can go find out what it was. BJ. No way. It talks. Didn't he say a number? Right after this, yes. BJ 11.5. There we go. I really hope that we had to do that. And that yeah, it's. It was something like. And that it's. This doesn't resolve by just not still remembering it. I think she's about to. BJ 11.5. Oh, come on. I want to do the work. BJ 11.5. So, was that it? Yes. I've located it. Oh, right. And. And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So? Where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. Uh oh! It's just flying through the sky? Uh, surely it's on something. Yeah. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes. In an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like... In space? Huh. Maybe that's where they come from and where they go when the pilots aren't using them. Are you talking about gun sword? I mean, nano machines and everything with that too, right? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want to make the reference. <laughs> I mean, also in gun sword, you know, it does not take place on Earth. It takes place in a planet that was actually seeded with DNA. And All right, we're moving on. I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. I mean, what? You guys didn't think we were out of these references, did you? <laughs> not even close. It's not just that Minami had good memory to remember that. It's that an encounter that literally changed her life, you're just going to remember more details. Yeah, that's how they built the Sentinels. Okino did say this. I guess they're literally Daimos. Well, not that that means anything. Oh, right, right. Yeah, we're getting closer to when Natsuno goes missing. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be it. The, the ending of the Natsuno story has to be here, right? Or at least the next one. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and I, I kind of thought so. Since we just did a lock, it means we can just keep on going. So what do you think? Do that again or do that? Oh, let's do not to know again. Right. In terms of the overall timeline, it seems that Natsuno and Miura, their stories take place really in the middle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, it this are you saying that this stuff is actually before this? 
Because she's got the cut on her face. Huh. You know, the cheek scar. That's what she has covered up? Yeah. So if it's if this is, in fact, after the previous one, does this mean that, that 426 is checking in with her or something? Oh, I don't know. Timey wimey wibbly wobbly, my friend. Gojo Senpai. He can also travel through time. No, it's right after the other one, so what yeah. happened to the face? Huh. So who exactly is he? Scar on cheek. This small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow? Ah. When I touch it. That's why she's got something covering it. It's scaring me. <sighs> so four two six shot her with that and that's the activation yeah so actually what megami yakushiji has been doing is going to these people and giving them the ability to summon their sentinel but i thought okino said that that was supposed to spread from keitaro mirror ah my brain maybe there's just some details that we don't have maybe aliens really did put something in me not to know come on come on come on get get with it get with it <laughs> can i just say Turns out, he wasn't an alien. She's carrying around some drone's brain. <laughs> that's way weirder than anything else. Well, that's why she's Dr. Space. It's true, that is why she's Dr. Space. You're a second year student. I'd ask you how it's going, but I guess you wouldn't be able to tell me even if you did know the answer. Oh, that's sad. Did you... Need something from us? <sighs> okay. B bye. See you later. It's open. <gasps> Where's BJ? I was gonna say, Shinonome can't carry off a BJ box. And if she did, it's not like BJ would necessarily let her. Right. There you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. He does seem to have gotten a lot more human lately. Well, if he's access... If he's been slowly accessing his memory logs... Yeah, maybe it is because he's constantly accessing them. Or maybe what 426 did actually kind of helped him... Yeah. Maybe. What? Well, we don't the thing know. Is, is we only know what we've been told about 426, and that ain't much. And at least half of it is from an entirely unreliable narrator. Oh, yeah. Who just walked off. <laughs> you think she's working with the men in black? Yeah, she is. Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. You are suspicious. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but... It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? What, UFO is the name of the control system? Universal French Oven? I... I what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that's the case, that's actually kind of amusing. The gate. Of course it's the gate. Let's go to the gate. Okay. Pick up the bag. My bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. BJ in the bag. Which again, we have to do every time. That's great. Uh-huh. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. There's no way her badly injured butt could keep up with me. Why is she still wearing all those bandages? It, uh, because everyone's got to keep their appearance. Maybe, but I don't know how much of, a, of an argument that is. Is that like a meta argument or a meta meta argument? Maybe it's a meta 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 argument. Dude, I don't even know what that is. Neither do I. <laughs> what I mean is the meta meta argument is people have to have a game graphic and so that's what they look like. <laughs> the the meta argument is that it's somehow significant. Well, for example... As like a type of self-identification. Every time we play as Nasuno, she's always in her PE gear. But right. not every time she appears in other people's stories. Is that true? 
Yeah, she was in her uh, school uniform and Katar was, like, when he came to school and she came out, she was in her school uniform. Also, the bandages on Shinonome possibly have something to do with excusing her erratic behavior. Mmm, that's a good point, too. Like, when you see somebody all in bandages acting erratically, you think they're less crazy. Yeah, it's less socially awkward because you're like, oh, they have been injured. I don't see her. Oh, she's hiding behind the pillar. Don't oh, worry. Oh, now that I think about it, I remember something that happened in a battle a billion years ago, which is that Tomi said to Megumi, like, why'd you have to put it there? It's in the middle of my back, and I'm going to strain my arms trying to get to it. Talking about... The oh, the rate. activation switch. Yeah. So that actually did get confirmed. We just didn't have enough context to understand it at the time. Yeah. But why is it that 426, of all people, is the one who shot her with it? Maybe Megumi did shoot her. Like while she was unconscious? I don't know. She's not going to have any memory of it if it happened. Uh, that's a fair point. Either that or it really was 426. Okay. Take out BJ from the bag. We're here. Decide what sector to go. No, no, we know what sector to go to. Yeah. How is it you've been guessing the right one to do every time? <laughs> I'm just that good with random guessing. Like it's some kind of skill. What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. I guess it's going to be there wherever. Well, like, in that case, well, in that case, why don't they just go to the UFO here? That might also be dangerous? I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> we may be able to go from there. Sector 3? It is in 2025. 40 years from now, which means I'll be in my 50s. I'm having mixed feelings. You're you. <laughs> You're not going to suddenly become a 50-year-old woman. Access code approved. I think it's more like she doesn't want to see herself 40 years older. Well, nobody else has, so why That's should she? Baby. Well, she doesn't know that. You want to fight? Let's go. To the death. Well, I don't want to fight that much. A notebook. We are here? Jeez, this place is falling apart. It's been a while since we've been here. Uh huh. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Maybe we'll find Miwako here. Oh! This is the area she was kind of abandoned in. Now we know we're here, and th that other stuff was way back here. Uh, uh, so you're, you're right. We might find Miwako here. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, yeah. class 2A. And this establishes that this happened after that event. This picture. Yeah, because her ID was dropped then, and now Minami knows who she is. That's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? Well, there's only one way. This place is in ruins, but it almost seems like someone's living here. Because someone is. Yeah. Man, she's been working hard. I wonder where she's gotten food. Well, she's probably just been living off of candy bars and such. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again. We're supposed to stick together. Hey, I may complain about it, but if I were in this situation and I had a bunch Stop of candy right bars... Here. <laughs> I'd live off them too. This seems more important. Give me all your candy bars. <laughs> Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. Okay, well what about Miwako then? Anyway, we'll get to that. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life! Don't play dumb. 
Well, there's no reasoning with her now. And for that matter, we don't even know if we've seen her confront A here yeah. or not. I mean, we have seen it, but when did that happen? Right, right. Okay, so it happened really early compared to where we are. Really early. Now, whether she remembers it or not, we don't know. Uh, I think it's a safe bet to but assume those, not. But those confrontations were a long time ago because it seems as though the Kisaragi Nenji stuff was actually some of the earliest major uh -huh. events. I'll deal with you later, Natsunomi Nami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome, you're being used. There's a reason that they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs and uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you and Tetsuya Ida? <laughs> Wow. You're not taking BJ. Out of my way. See what I mean about BJ, though? Way more human. It's freezing. Well. <gasps> and without BJ, she's stuck here. Huh. With Miwako, perhaps. Yeah. Well, we've solved the mystery of whatever happened to her, but we still have to get BJ back. Yeah. Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh, crap, that's right! BJ! Nothing she can do now. Maybe he's... Nope. Never mind. Uh, 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 anybody? Anybody? BJ! He's not here. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Oh, we're just gonna end it here, are we? Okay. I'm guessing a lot's coming up. Seeing as we're now at 87% and gets left behind in the ruins, unable to find a way home. Yeah. yeah. And now we can't finish up until Yuki actually finds her. Yeah! Excellent! That's so cool! Yeah, how really neat. Okay, well, me what yes. it is! <sighs> Hero. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. Yeah, we haven't even touched it. <gasps> and still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? Yeah, I'd really like to continue on with this. Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? Chihiro. Natsuno-san, I'm not sure why, but I really want to hear her voice right now. <laughs> Almost as if she were a Hamburger. Could she still be at school? Nope, that's where we're going. Taking a look. Okay, this is our last one. Meaning that if we ever get to play Miura again... It will be a completely different scenario! Though this is likely going to be her being gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, if we didn't need Amiguchi to get, like, the next battles unlocked, I'd really want to just do Yuki so we could get to finding her. Right. Well, maybe we should just do that anyway. Ah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Natsuno-san's over there. Oh, thank God. Oh, what do I do? What's the hurry? Huh. Miyura-kun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. Huh. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. How did she have no memory of this? Or maybe she did have memory of this, yeah. but it had been resolved by the time we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's split up and find him. 
Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Oh, uh, well, actually, he has propellers for legs, so he could have gone very far. Yeah, he can fly, so you never know where he's gonna be. Okay, then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. Did you see that flying RC thing? Excellent. It went back behind the North School building. Would you like to provide any more details? Since you uh, apparently have an exceptional ability to provide them on command? I think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. <laughs> Didn't look like a helicopter to me. I see that these young students are applying for a major in exposition. <laughs> so it can fly behind the North building. That's where the old school building is. No sign of him. You gotta, you gotta look around. <laughs> Sounds like rotor blades. Maybe, maybe this is what BJ was trying to set up. He just ran off on his own so he could talk to Miura. Mm. That could happen. Yeah. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? No, just to you. <laughs> Natsuno-san's worried about you. Hey, Taro Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Uh, yeah. Well, that's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. You've been scanning for me from overhead? I've been scanning for you from underneath. Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyuna. <laughs> That's awkward. At this point, nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. <laughs> I am thou, and thou art I. <laughs> he turns into a persona. <laughs> you know, Miyuna, his story has essentially been him just sort of observing things, not really doing all that much himself. I'm not being critical of his actions or the story presentation. What I'm saying is other people have been doing things, but, but Miyuna is actually just watching things happen and has been told the most BS stories repeatedly. Basically, all it is is him considering different information that he witnesses. Yeah. Why do you look like this? And that was a loop or two ago. That's yep. why there's a Miura in there. And after a loop, which may just be a big digital reset, then everybody is there again. Because they've got all the DNA stored on the mainframe or whatever. Or something like that. Yeah. But if there are people who are somehow still alive, or whatever the definition of alive would be, mm -hmm. they're still around. Yes. Uh, that appears to be the case. That's why we have multiple Morimuras and multiple Miuras. Yeah. We don't have multiple Izumis because you have to still be alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. I guess that's all he had time to get. Yeah. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the sentinel. Mm. So it's not that BJ doesn't make it, it's really more of like a liberation thing. Yeah. Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's best that she doesn't know. Aww. That's so sad. Like, remarkably sweet. If you're really from the future, then you must know 
What's going to happen? My experiences are all from past events. For some reason, that's how this works. <laughs> past events? It's not that he's from the future. Events that have happened have happened. Yes. Regardless of what year somebody says it is. Time is relative. In a really specific sense, yeah. <laughs> Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. Digital worlds, however, are very possible. We never travel through time. Uh-huh. Man, I remember really early on, I thought, well, maybe we're just overthinking things and wanting the plot to have more complex threads like we always do. And so why don't we just accept what it is they're telling us and say, okay, I guess it's time travel after all, when our initial this ain't time travel is completely right. <laughs> but you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? No, he's Keitaro Miura from the past. Yeah. I'm an entity that used to be Miura before you. I located the sun. I can now access all logs. I just love how this is like really contemporary doing these two stories together. Yeah, it was really yeah, it's really good. So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins. That you will protect Natsuro. Yeah. You'll research the logs and mm. figure out a solution. Okay, well that's good too. That's but... also protecting Natsuro. Shihiro Morimura's plan. Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's... plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Oh, I see. Well, there's... Morimura-san. The original one! That leaves us with Judo Izumi... Ryoko. Oh yeah, we didn't count her before either. So Ryoko Shinonome, we haven't seen Tetsuya Ida. Or grown up A or Aseki Gahara from this period. So okay, we're, anyway, we're making progress through them. It's interesting how of all people, Keitaro Miura was the one where you get the most, this is what's really going on. Whoa, look at his involvement, what he's doing. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. So they're not colonies, but they are similar to them, like immigration ships? Uh -huh. You know, an immigration ship going to... Another planet? 12 light years away yeah. or some such? I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead... I've separated them by historical eras. Yeah, I feel like we noticed that some time ago. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask. Why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. Uh, you don't say! <laughs> what? Humanity obtains godlike power by eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and so Noah's Ark is built. <laughs> Something like that. Nah, you're overthinking. <laughs> yeah, it says nano machines. You gotta, you gotta not use the nano machines. They, they destroy the world, man. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war, so this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. And that's it. That's all the world is. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. Are these memories? Does he not... Or are they like dreams that he doesn't remember that he's had? 
Uh, wouldn't that kind of have to be? Because he's certainly acting like he doesn't recall any of this. Yeah. Which means it's something we're accessing. Huh. Oh, and Yakushiji. We've never seen her at all. I guess we've really I only seen... Seen either. We've only seen a few people, I guess. Virtual uh, resident Jew districts! Matrix, Megazone, Zegapane. Take your pick! <laughs> so the Sector Zero isn't a place that you can actually go. Yes, I believe Sector Zero must be the core where all the data is stored. That is a possibility. It's definitely the core. Whether that's where all the data is stored or not, I, I don't know. Right. But it could be that. It's definitely the core, though. Right. You don't say. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I, I feel like we might have had more of a mind-blowing revelation to that if it weren't for the fact that we've accused, like, every game we've played on this channel of this. You know, you gotta... Oh. Ha! Distracted you before you made an excuse. <laughs> Uh-huh. Project art. Right, right. Uh -huh. So Sector Zero must be the section in between connecting them all. Right. And this explains how they can go from one to the other. The satellite orbiting Earth. They weren't actually able to get to the planet to set up. Or at least in 20, 2188, okay, it was orbiting okay. Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it might... It, whether or... Okay, we gotta finish a sentence somewhere. <laughs> Let's try this again. In 2188, this sucker was orbiting the Earth. Yes. We don't know where it is now, but it's possible that it's no longer orbiting the Earth. Yes. If it is orbiting the Earth, then we're in Expelled from Paradise. God damn it, you're right. I, I know! <laughs> so it may be an immigration ship, but it's not like it's five immigration ships. Yeah. This is how you can go from one sector to the other, because it's fundamentally the same structure. Yes. In Sector 1... It's already in ruins due to the kaiju attacks and toxic levels of radiation? What are you talking about? Well, maybe when they say virtual... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been able to put that together either. Maybe they don't mean digital, but they mean artificial. Well, that's like Megazone 2-3, you see. Yeah, but then... It... Whereas Matrix or Zegapane is actually digital. Yeah, 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 yeah. And same with Expelled from Paradise. Oh yeah, and Expelled from Paradise is digital as well. But that wouldn't explain how people could just vanish so easily. Like, just poof, gone. And so these kaiju, are they physical or not? Uh, I don't know. So Sector 4 is the only place that's left. If you yeah. want to talk about humanity being on its way to destruction from using the Aegis Project, well, there's no other place! This is it! It's like now or never! Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. There we go. Destroy our worlds, you say? We finally can't go any further. Woo! Okay. So all the sectors exist at the same time. They're just set in different timelines or time periods. Which means that when they talk about a loop, they must be referring to looping the whole thing. Well, they can only do that if it is digital. Yeah. So two loops ago, we don't know how many times they've well, looped all together. Okay, cool. Two loops ago, X happened. But that means that the, like, what are the kaiju then? The Daimos? That's a good question. If it is all digital, then maybe they're physical, with quotation marks, manifestations of the decode? Like attacking the program? As if it were a virus? Yeah, like a virus. Ultimately, the people really are dying and they have to re because it's not digital and it is physical and then they have to reboot the dna like reboot all the dna that they have to resurrect all the people here yeah it's just without a digital world that seems kind of iffy like on how that works but then if the daimos were to just be attacking these wouldn't they just have destroyed the entire ship i think it's yeah but it's, what if the ship is actually on the ground like, forget being in orbit. What if it's actually on... The planet they were heading to to originally colonize? Yeah, planet east of Eden or whatever it is you want to call it. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, it's hard to say. We don't really have the yeah. concrete details to answer those questions, but it's something to think about. It is. Now, we could do Shu Amiguchi. To... That's what we were planning on doing. But I want to propose that we do Yuki. Because you her, Yuki? Yuki, 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 however you want to say her name. Yuki? 
Yuki. Maybe maybe it'd actually be Yuuki or <laughs> Yuuki Yu. <laughs> In any case, the reason I am suggesting her interrupt die. <laughs> <laughs> The reason I'm suggesting Miss Takamiya, her investigation into Natsuno's disappearances are kind of chronologically after the events that we've already been doing, and I think it builds for a more coherent overall narrative. Cohesive? Like, coherent, cohesive, coaxial. I thought you were dead. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, I'll just get on with it. I guess we'll do all the battles together then. Huh? We can work on Shu after Yuki. It's Yuki. Whatever. <laughs> Juice box. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. It's so... Uh, remember, that is the last thing we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting how, how Yuki, who is in fact Natsuno's mother... <laughs> Like, she idealizes everything about Natsuno because it's her kid. I know. She loves her more than anything. I that's, know. That's why she's like this. But it's just a little weird to consider in this specific circumstance. Hey, it's how it works. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Well, we know what happened in that bathroom now, so there you Gotta go. look for more clues. Hey, see? Can't go wrong with apple juice. Oi. There you are. I don't really want to talk to you, 426. <laughs> I've been looking for you. I bet you have. <sighs> Nachon was writing things in this notebook. Oh, yeah. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Right! I forgot about that. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Yes. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. Be vape. Mm -hmm. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Yeah, and about Tomi Kisaragi, the the one that she's thinking of, not at the actual Kisaragi. Right. The one that Yuki is thinking of is the former 426 android body. Yes. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Right. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. That one's the real one. Right. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. So now what we need to do is investigate the shrine somehow. I, I don't want to go back to the bathroom. Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? Here we go. They've started renovating. Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Uh, you got everything you were going to get out of it. You got those glasses, and that's the best thing. You know, before we were going like, ha, 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 this silly person, this silly Tamo Kurabe. Wonder what sort of silly things that she's silly thinking. Ha, ha, ha. Now we're like, you're 426. Die. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll just wander around and see what happens. But everybody we talk to is like that, you know? Yeah. And then again, it's possible there was a clear point last time, like, to go do something else. And we just missed it? We just forgot it, because it was so long ago. Ah, uh, maybe. There we go. Now that Excuse I re me. remember it, what had happened was we could have gone to look in the track and field room looking for evidence of the box. Oh, yeah! But we went to the girls' bathroom instead. That room is for authorized personnel only? Shut up! Just go in there. It's just a damn locker room. No! No! Whoa. No! Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. Ah! We will have Erika Aiba distract. Yo, Aiba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. <laughs> uh, you want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Well, she's gone in there and ransacked the place herself. Shh. <laughs> oh, good heavens. You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Mm. La la la, not doing anything suspicious. I beg your pardon. 
Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Oh? Well, yeah. Yeah, Yuki! Oh, right. What did you want to know about Natsuno? <laughs> oh... Uh... <laughs> huh. The laundry basket that BJ always hides in is gone. Well, it's, one of, it's right over there. No, it's gone. It's not where it used to be. That means it's gone. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. They're lockers. <laughs> what? Do you want a big nameplate on the locker? It's a locker nameplate. Nachans. Found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachans' class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. And she's going to look at it, and it's going to be like just a bunch of scribbles about BJ, little drawings, yeah, and none yeah. of it's going to make any sense. And she's like, why did I even look at this? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. And now that I think about it, Natsuno really liking spacey UFO stuff, look at her job. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Like the original Natsuno, I just uh -huh. hadn't connected that yet. Um, we might end up stopping right in the middle of something, but we'll see how far we can go. I have finally encountered my destiny. <laughs> Overly dramatic, excellent. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being. In summary, whoa. <laughs> Aliens really do exist. In summary, whoa. <laughs> how very yes. <laughs> An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachon make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? Record do! These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! All right, that's one of the key points! There we go. Tokisaka Shrine. Tokisaka Shrine. Stack of papers. <laughs> Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Record three! He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? As it turns out. Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Remember, Ida is somehow the head of the SIU. We don't know anything about what Ida really knows. Right. So from what he's saying, which we don't know how much he really knows or which Ida he is, uh -huh. he's saying that Shikishima is doing something weird and developing weird weapons and... They don't. The only reason that they haven't raided the place is they don't want to call too much attention to it. Right, right. So that's what Yuki was looking for. It's just this was such a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, what I had thought of is no wonder Yuki like is irritated by Shu Amiguchi, but can't help but be charmed by him. But the adult Tetsuya Ida, she just hates him. <laughs> Which makes sense for an ex. Yeah. The younger one is the one that kind of steals her yeah. heart. The older one is. No. Repel it. Okay, we just need the front uh -huh. gate key word. Hello. I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. I promise I didn't do anything untoward to her. Uh-huh. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. Uh-huh. <gasps> The locker room of the athletics building. See, before we just would have blown her off. And I know. Like, she's so silly, but now it's like, I don't want you to find anything. <laughs> Get out of here. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. That you can. Hey, what's up? Hey, don't talk to me. I'm Takamiya with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me. She even identified as SIU this time. Yeah. Even though she always turned down everything Ida said. So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Ah, yes, because you don't stand out like a sore thumb. 
Dang. What? Ah, what do I do? Well, after wandering around like this, we finally figured out that what we needed to do is have this keyword available, which we get from the notebook, but we only get one keyword from the notebook at the time. This way we can leave. Okay, that's great and fine and all. I just want to complain. I would prefer that, that this game either had more segments like this with a more logical kind of point-and-click adventure-style yeah. outcome. Yeah, I agree. Or less of it to prevent random confusion. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see how me reading the notebook again, running around the entire school again, like pressing the R1 through every bit of dialogue through everybody actually enhanced anything. <laughs> Especially because it's like, I know we need to go to Tokisaka Shrine, so just give me the ability to do that already. Meh! And with that, we'll end, but in any case, we're getting there. <laughs>